Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for a fresh episode of Food, Brew, and Barbecue. Megan has been looking forward to getting some fresh berries for months, and I gotta say, the ones she got were crazy good. Tart and sweet, they make a perfect addition to a sweet treat, so that is exactly what we're gonna do today, some strawberry shortcake cookies. The first thing we need to do is try to find a whole lemon, uh, to no avail, so I had to use one that I had cut up previously, and once that had sufficiently me off enough, I just used the juice of that lemon instead. Set that aside, then dump your cup of strawberries into a bowl and contemplate whether you should chop them up any finer, and yes, you should. So dump those out onto a cutting board and using an unnecessarily large knife for the job, try cutting until you feel unsafe and trade that for a more appropriate sized paring knife for the job. Pour your now chopped strawberries into an awaiting bowl and add the one tablespoon of lemon juice that you collected earlier, as well as one tablespoon of sugar. Mix those together and set those aside for 10 minutes. In the meantime, in a large bowl, add two cups of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Give that a little whisking until that becomes homogenous and set that aside. Now we'll turn our attention to the filling as it's easier to work with if it sits in the fridge for a little while before adding it to the cookies. So for that, we need to add four tablespoons of cream cheese, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and if I had it, I would have used the zest of one lemon here. Mix all that sweet goodness up best you can with a fork until you realize that it's a losing battle. And so get your hands in there and mix that up. And look at that, there's me adding the two pieces of zest that I was able to wrangle from that lemon. Cover that up with the most frustrating plastic that you ever have, aka saran wrap, and let that sit in the fridge while you make the rest of the cookie dough. By this time, it will probably have been almost exactly 10 minutes, so drain your strawberries from its JUICE and save that little bitty because we's got plans for you. Then in a medium mixing bowl, add one half cup of softened butter, one quarter cup of brown sugar, and mix that until it's combined. Then add to that one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, and optionally about one teaspoon of that honey proof. Add your flour mixture from before and mix that together until it looks a little sandy and then fold in those tasty strawberries from before making sure that you don't squeeze them out and they bleed into the rest of your dough. This last bit should look a little familiar if you've ever made stuffed burgers before. And if you haven't, what are you doing with your life? We're taking about a tablespoon of dough to make an even amount of small circular patties, to which we will retrieve our cream cheese filling of the heavens from the fridge and place about a teaspoon of that filling on half of our little Sebastian patties. Then close them up with the opposite patty and pinch the edges together so you don't lose any of that cream cheese filling from the heavens. Place your stuffed cookies into a 350 degree oven for 18 minutes or until golden brown around the edges. Then call Megan over for a taste and see what she thinks. Nice. Cream cheese filling and you can see the steam so be really, really, really careful. Oh yeah. It's like a little cheesecake. Lots of fresh strawberry juice. Yep. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Nothing. But that's not where our journey ends today. Megan had this awesome idea to make a strawberry whipped cream too. To do that, all you need is one half cup of heavy cream, one half tablespoon of powdered sugar, a little splash of vanilla, the blood of one pig, aka the strawberry juice from before, and your trusty hand mixer. If you have the whisk attachments, those are best here, but as Teddy Roosevelt said, do what you can with what you have. And while you see Megan's arm cleaning the splatter from this whipped cream, let's hear her take credit for the idea. I want it on the record that I have the idea for icing. Once you've mixed this for a couple minutes and you have your desired peakiness, enjoy another one of these cookies because they're basically a health cookie with all those strawberries. And again, let's hear what Megan thinks. So thanks again everyone 
for joining us here on Food Brew and Barbecue. I hope that you give these strawberry shortcake cookies a try, and I look forward to cooking or baking with you again next time.